All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole three. Let's take a look at this. First time with a POC six. So very tricky uh, hole here. Now, one of the things that I mentioned, I try to avoid this left fairway if at all possible. Um, it is going to be the hardest to make. If you do, you'll probably want to get it up there as far as possible. What that will allow you to do is hopefully get the most straight wind angle you can. So if you can get this well into this, it looks like he may even be a little bit short of where you actually want to get the ball to. Because the farther you get it down, the more straight this wind arrow is going to be. You can see he's still going to have a little bit of a side wind. However, you want to avoid that if at all possible. So we're going to see if we can just carry this. Um, also keep in mind there's probably a hook slice that you can do from right here. Um, you'll have to watch how much you topspin. It'll be a very tricky adjustment in terms of rings, um, but definitely something to at least consider if you don't have at least an Epoch 6 or Epoch 7. as kind of the alternative method. So there's five rings. I'm going to go somewhere around 10. And we're going to just try to land this hopefully just onto the fairway. Decent amount of curl here. So let's just see how this comes in and see if it just carries to that fairway. I think it might. Sure enough, it does. Now let's see if we can get enough run out here. And it looks like it barely does. So you'll want to just kind of gauge your curl. Um, you kind of want to miss left intentionally. So you can see that, uh, you know, I was kind of trying to put it out in that open fairway. I would assume that unless you make a, a, a major miss that, uh, you know, for the most part, it's going to clip the rough on that second hop, landing short like that. So you don't have to really worry too much about it bouncing and running through to the sand, kind of like what Masters does. And the biggest reason is the wind angle only allows you to barely creep onto that fairway. A POC 5 can't even go that aggressive. If you do have an Apoc 5, you probably want to back off on your con curl considerably and you'll just want to kind of run it straight up to where that left opening is because it doesn't have the top spin to get where I just did. So keep that in mind. You'll have to make subtle differences and of course you guys already saw a pock four was very tricky to do. But what I'll typically try to do here is maybe land on this fringe. You can see up here is max. So typically with max, we're looking at, I'm going to do two, two, two spin here. I'm going to go right at the, aim right for the hole, and we're going to do an overplay method. So um, 1.5-ish per ring, somewhere in that. Six rings at least. Six and a half. 6.7 rings, somewhere around there. Looks pretty good overall, but it is a little bit too wide. So it was a little bit too much of an overplay, but that's at least something that'll give you a starting point. 1.5 straight up might have been actually perfect, or maybe just a hint under 1.5. So, um, you know, if 1.5 there called for 6.5 rings, um, maybe if I went 6.3. So you can see I'm at least getting close on that adjustment. If you can get to a similar spot right at that max club. Um, and do keep in mind, if I was that max club, which I wasn't, it, that adjustment probably was right. So you got to watch minor differences that you may have in depth. So you, you could see where I was towards mid club. That would have probably worked at almost the max line or maybe just a little bit light of the max line. At the max line, I might need to even go just a tad, another tenth or two tenths of a ring more. So do pay attention to subtle differences. Good luck with that hole. I'll see you guys on four.